Philippines is a former martial artist who earned her black belt at 12 years old. Now 24, this fashion model and singer has raised funds for various charities through benefit concert held in her country and abroad, Philippines. Philippines proudly raised funds to purchase and renovate an old apartment building in Manila. This 24-year-old turned the building into the Young Focus Child Care Plus Center, a school offering free education to children. Philippines! Philippines! The second semi-finalist from Africa and Asia Pacific. <laughs> Philippines! <laughs> How are you? I bet you're happy to see me. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm happy. The Philippines loves me. Listen, you're a singer and a musician. If you were going to write a song about your experience here at Miss Universe, what would you call it? Well, you know what, Steve? As a Miss Philippines, I've always felt the love and the support of the Filipino people. And I think I brought half of my country here tonight. And so I would name the song Raise Your Flag because I stand here not as one, but as 104 million Filipinos. Thank you, Philippines. Working in some of the poorest areas of my country, I found that it was a lack of child support, not poverty, that killed their dreams. A child once told me, Kat, that's just not my life, and those dreams aren't meant for me. But I stand here today because someone believed in me, and we owe it to our children to believe in them. Kapong ka. Still in the running is... Once I started the music, it just was fulfilling in a way that everything else wasn't. My mom told me that even when I was in the womb, like I was dancing along to music. <laughs> I'm an only child, very, very close to my parents, especially my dad. He would always say the longest journey starts with a single step. When you have a dream or an ambition and it's so far away and it's so high up, you can feel overwhelmed. But when you look at it as just one step at a time, one day you're going to look up from your feet and you'll be at your destination. So that's a piece of advice from my dad that I feel I'm going to apply in my whole life. <laughs> Philippines! Spot number three is... Philippines! The first finalist with a chance to take the Miss Universe crown is... Philippines! Philippines, please join me. Congratulations. I'm 
sorry, my bad. Okay, get ready. Here is the question. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life, and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? I work a lot in the slums of Tondo, Manila, and the life there is very... It's poor and it's very sad and I've always taught myself to look for the beauty in it, to look in the beauty in the faces of the children and to be grateful. And I would bring this aspect as a Miss Universe to see situations with a silver lining and to assess where I could give something, where I could provide something as a spokesperson. And this, I think, if I could teach also people to be grateful, we could have an amazing world where negativity could not grow and foster, and children would have a smile on their face. Thank you. Thank you, Philippines. to stage. Both of you have worked so hard to get here, but only one of you is about to become our new Miss Universe. If for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take her place. Good luck to you both. This universe is Philippines! Universe. Thanks to Ashley, Carson, and Lou. I'm Steve Harvey. 